Ah, do you remember that moment when the world of television introduced us to the enchanting shores of Santa Barbara? The year was 1984, and amidst the bustling chaos of our lives, there it was, a captivating escape into the realm of glamour, scandal, and tangled affairs. The very mention of Santa Barbara takes us back to a time when the television screen was a window into a world of passion and intrigue, where characters became companions and their tales of love and betrayal intertwined with our own. Think back to those long afternoons or cozy evenings, the soft glow of the screen illuminating your living room as you embarked on a journey into the opulent lives of the Capwells and the Lockridges. The show had a knack for weaving a web of suspense and unexpected twists, each episode leaving you on the edge of your seat, craving more. Whether it was the charismatic charm of Mason Capwell, the elegant allure of Julia Wainwright, or the wicked schemes of Augusta Lockridge, these characters etched themselves into our hearts, making us laugh, cry, and gasp in astonishment. And oh, the memorable moments that linger like old friends. The forbidden romances that sent our hearts aflutter, the heated confrontations that left us breathless, and the grand parties that seemed to transport us right into the heart of Santa Barbara's high society. Whether it was the iconic beach scenes, the sumptuous mansions, or the melodramatic showdowns, Santa Barbara knew how to transport us into its world and keep us spellbound. But let's dive a bit deeper, shall we? Beyond the on-screen drama, there are intriguing tidbits that have remained hidden like treasures waiting to be unearthed. These random facts about the show will not only tickle your nostalgia, but also add a new layer of appreciation for the creative minds that brought Santa Barbara to life. So, as we embark on this journey to uncover the lesser-known details of Santa Barbara, take a moment to reflect on your own first encounter with this iconic series. What were your favorite moments? Which characters resonated with you the most? As we delve into the world of Santa Barbara's secrets and trivia, let these memories serve as the backdrop to our exploration. Get ready to be surprised, amused, and maybe even a little nostalgic as we uncover the hidden gems of Santa Barbara, a series that has truly left an indelible mark on the landscape of television history. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into the enchanting world of Santa Barbara, one fascinating fact at a time, at a time, at a time. A Martinez initial rejection, the unlikely start of a Santa Barbara icon in the glittering realm of 1980s television, where melodrama reigned supreme. Few series captured the hearts of viewers like Santa Barbara. Amid the sprawling narratives and opulent lives depicted on screen, a little-known fact has emerged about one of the show's pivotal figures, a Martinez. It's a tale that showcases both the actor's initial reluctance and the eventual triumph that led to his portrayal of Cruz Castillo. Surprisingly, a Martinez, now an emblematic face of the show, turned down the role of Cruz Castillo not once, not twice, but thrice. His aversion to the soap opera genre stood as a formidable barrier, a genre he openly despised. Yet destiny, it seems, had other plans for Martinez and the show. In a serendipitous twist, it was the persistence of the creators and the allure of the character that eventually broke down Martinez's resistance. The role of Cruz, with its layers of complexity and its potential to transcend the confines of soap opera conventions, beckoned to him. And so, Martinez's acceptance marked a turning point for both the actor and the series. Years later, in Quentin Tarantino's true romance, an unexpected homage to Santa Barbara materialized. A scene depicting Alabama, played by Patricia Arquette, watching the show featured none other than a Martinez himself, alongside Kim Zimmer. This unexpected cameo was a testament to the enduring legacy of Santa Barbara, a series that not only captured the hearts of its audience, but left an indelible mark on popular culture. Amid the intrigue and drama that characterized the world of Santa Barbara, another unsung hero emerged, Oliver Thies. Known for his expertise as a stunt coordinator, Thies brought his skills to the show, not only behind the scenes but also in front of the camera. A multi-talented artist, he doubled as both an actor and a stunt coordinator on the series. His contributions added an extra layer of authenticity to the show's action sequences, making him an unsung cornerstone of its success. In the annals of television history, Santa Barbara remains an emblem of a bygone era. A Martinez journey from rejection to acceptance, the unexpected homage in true romance, and the multifaceted talent of Oliver Thies stand as testaments to the show's enduring impact. As viewers look back on the intrigue and allure of the soap opera world, 
These hidden stories add a layer of depth to the tale, reminding us that even in the glitziest of settings, human stories of perseverance and creativity shine through, shine through, shine through. Last minute casting twists in character name poll, unveiling untold stories of Santa Barbara in the glitzy world of 1980s soap operas. Santa Barbara stood as a beacon of drama and intrigue. Amidst the opulent backdrop of its fictional universe, the show's history is peppered with surprising casting choices and unexpected twists that rivaled the on-screen narratives. One such twist involved the pivotal role of Augusta Lockridge. Initially envisioned for Jane Elliott, famed for her role on General Hospital, the character eventually found its way into the capable hands of Louise Sorrell. The serendipitous switch added layers to Augusta's complexities, highlighting Sorrel's talent in the enigmatic role. Yet, it was the audience engagement that truly set Santa Barbara apart. When the beloved characters Cruz and Eden faced the anticipation of parenthood, showrunners conducted a poll among viewers. The question, the name of their impending child. Offering two boys and two girls names, the audience decided. A verdict. A girl christened Adriana. This interaction blurred the lines between fiction and reality, forging an intimate bond between the show's creators and its dedicated viewers. The drama wasn't limited to the screen, as the production grappled with last-minute casting upheavals. A trio of veteran actors was poised to breathe life into major characters, only to be replaced in the 11th hour. Lloyd Bochner, initially set to command Patriarch C.C., Capwell succumbed to a heart attack, leading to a swift replacement by Peter Mark Richman, familiar from Dynasty. Rosemary Forsyth tantalizingly portrayed Sophia Capwell in disguise as enigmatic Dominic, only to bow out before her true identity was unveiled, making way for Judith McConnell. Meanwhile, Samantha Eggers' intended portrayal of Mason's estranged mother, Pamela Capwell, fizzled as she backed out, promptly succeeded by the season Shirley Ann Fields. Santa Barbara, a show that thrived on the unexpected, found itself entangled in a web of shifting fates, leaving its indelible mark on the landscape of television history. Television history. Television history. Santa Barbara 1984 TV series, unveiling the unplanned hiatus the iconic 1980s TV drama Santa Barbara may have captured hearts with its tantalizing plot twists and captivating characters. But behind the scenes, the show often faced an unexpected adversary, scheduling disruptions. In a series of interruptions spanning a decade, Santa Barbara was preempted a staggering 73 times, throwing dedicated fans for a loop. From its debut year in 1984 to its final days in 1993, the soap opera juggernaut found itself sidelined by a barrage of unanticipated events. Presidential inaugurations, unplanned news reports, and the glamour of award shows all played their part in keeping viewers on their toes. The breakdown of preemptions across the years paints a vivid picture of the show's tumultuous journey. 1984 saw a solitary disruption, while 1987 brought a staggering 19 unplanned hiatuses. As the years unfolded, the irregular interruptions persisted, with a smattering of preemptions in each successive year. It wasn't until the show's conclusion in 1993 that Santa Barbara managed to regain its uninterrupted stride. But amidst the turmoil, the show's remarkable cast left an indelible mark. One standout was Louise Sorrell, who graced the screen in the third season of Star Trek, portraying a mesmerizing character in the episode Requiem for Methuselah. Meanwhile, the esteemed Dame Judith Anderson brought her talent to the cosmos, appearing in Star Trek III, The Search for Spock, adding an interstellar dimension to her illustrious career. Additionally, the intriguing interplay of acting and behind-the-scenes talent was exemplified by Oliver Thies, who not only flexed his acting chops in Santa Barbara, but also contributed his expertise as a stunt coordinator, infusing the show with an extra layer of authenticity. While the complexities of the Santa Barbara schedule might have caused frustration among its fans, the resilience of the show's creators and cast shone through. Despite the challenges, the show endured, etching its legacy into television history. In a world of scripted drama, the unpredictable twists behind the scenes of Santa Barbara proved just as gripping as the storylines on screen. And as fans reminisce about the show that held them captive, they can't help but marvel at the resilience and dedication that kept the drama alive, even in the face of 73 unforeseen obstacles. In a delightful collision of two beloved television universes, the 1984 TV series Santa Barbara drew a connection to the star-studded realm of Star Trek. 
Notably, Louise Sorrel, a prominent figure in the Santa Barbara saga, also made her mark in the final frontier as she graced the screen in Star Trek Season 3's Episode 19, Requiem for Methuselah. But she wasn't the only one to bridge these iconic shows. Dame Judith Anderson, of Santa Barbara fame, left her mark in Star Trek III, The Search for Spock. As the plot of Santa Barbara thickened, audience engagement reached a pinnacle when characters Cruz and Eden were expecting a child. A novel approach was taken, involving an audience poll to determine the child's name. The participants were offered a choice between two boys' names and two girls' names. However, the narrative took an unexpected twist as a daughter named Adriana was welcomed into the world. The intrigue behind character casting decisions often shapes the trajectory of a show. Jane Elliott, recognized for her dynamic roles, was initially considered for the role of Augusta Lockridge in Santa Barbara. Ultimately, the role found its home with Louise Sorrel, revealing the delicate dance of casting choices that can alter the course of television history. In the world of entertainment, such serendipitous connections and behind-the-scenes revelations add an extra layer of fascination for dedicated viewers and casual enthusiasts alike. As the mystique of Santa Barbara endures, these tidbits of trivia remind us that even in the realm of fictional storytelling, unexpected crossovers, and intriguing alternate paths can be as gripping as the main narrative itself. So, whether in space or on the sun-soaked shores of Santa Barbara, the threads of entertainment weave a rich tapestry of interwoven stories and hidden connections, waiting to be discovered by the discerning eye, discerning eye, discerning eye. As we step back from the mesmerizing world of Santa Barbara, it's remarkable how a television series can weave itself into the tapestry of our lives. The characters, the drama, the intricate plots, they've all left an indelible mark, inviting us to take a seat in the nostalgia-filled theater of our memories. Whether it's the suspenseful cliffhangers that had us on the edge of our seats or the heartwarming moments that made us smile through tears, Santa Barbara holds a unique place in our hearts. As you reflect on the series, think about the way it resonated with your own journey. Did you find solace in its fictional universe during challenging times? Did it ignite your imagination, transporting you to the stunning locales and captivating narratives? Or perhaps it sparked conversations and connections that still echo today. Your experiences are what make Santa Barbara more than just a show. They transform it into a cherished part of your personal narrative. So, let's share those treasured moments together. Whether it's a favorite character, a pivotal scene, or a plot twist that caught you off guard, I encourage you to join in the conversation. Reach out to fellow enthusiasts, relive those moments, and let the magic of Santa Barbara continue to thrive. Thank you for taking this journey down memory lane, reminiscing about a series that touched lives and hearts. Your time and interest are deeply appreciated. Until we delve into another captivating tale, keep the spirit of Santa Barbara alive in your thoughts and conversations. And as you do, remember, it's not just a show, it's a part of who you are. Bar, 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 bar.